So the strong winds and heavy rains have been causing problems for drivers all morning, and we see no signs of that letting up in the noon hour. News 13's Lauren Brigman is live in Asheville, where a tree came down blocking the entrance to a development. Lauren, what are you seeing? That's right, Vic. We're here at the Mills Creek condo entrance. This is on Alpine Ridge Road, right off of Mills Gap Road that runs behind me. And actually, grounds crews just showed up moments ago. You can probably hear the chainsaws behind me. They are now clearing this roadway. Residents tell me that this tree fell around 930 this morning. I actually spoke to the resident who called the fire department. He didn't want to go on camera, but told me he called the fire department. They quickly came out to remove the tree so people could actually use the entrance. Now the grounds crew is out here up the debris. It is a rather large tree, and this isn't only the, the only problem area in western North Carolina. Crews across the mountains have been busy clearing trees and repairing power lines all morning. Dispatchers say a tree fell into a house at Ridgefield Place in Biltmore Forest. It has been cleared, but left a hole in the roof. Now, luckily, nobody was hurt. Power lines were also brought down by the storms on Cane Creek Road off Charlotte Highway in Fairview. Those long lines are no longer blocking the road. Crews have cleared the scene, but as the storms continue, trees like this one will topple. That will bring down those power lines. And right now, Duke Energy reports that around 2,900 customers in western North Carolina are without power. So definitely take shelter as these storms are moving through the area. Use caution on the roadways as standing water is also an issue. Live in Asheville, Warren Brickman, News 13.